Aloha and welcome back. This is Jen with Little C's Creations. Today I'm going to share with you an unboxing of my recent Newton Nooks design order and then creating a card, well a couple of cards using um, the Newton's Valentine stamp set that I received in this order and making them for Valentine cards. Now I opened my order. It's nicely wrapped in bubble wrap sealed with washi tape and then my items are tied together with this string and on the string is the card with all their information now this is the first stamp set it's called newton's valentine this is the set that i'll be using my card today and then this adorable stamp set is called love quarry i just love all these cute truck designs reminds me of when my boys were young toddlers um, perfect sentiments and I also purchased this balloon die cut it's pretty cool I think I'm gonna I think I could make it into a shaker it is a balloon shaker die so and then this is the bokeh uh, stencil heart stencil that I'll be using in the project today I'm starting off by cutting the panel where I will be putting the bouquet hearts on. I'm using the Distress Oxide from uh, Tim Holtz Ranger brand for this part of the card making. And the colors that I'm using is Fossilized Amber and I have to go back and see what the green one was. It went too fast. Anyways, this is the stencil, the bokeh stencil, and they overlap on each other, but we would use them not together. Um, this purple tape is kind of like washi tape, a little bit less um, holding than a painter's tape. Oh, okay, so the green uh, Distress Oxide is called Mowed Lawn. Now. I will have to grab another piece of tape and then tape the paper down but you're gonna see that it still kind of moves so the brush that I'm using is a makeup brush that I also purchased from Amazon um, I just kind of sped up this video really quick so I could get this part over and and then um, so mode lawn is the ink that I'm using right now, the green ink. Then I'm gonna take the other stencil and tape it, but now I'm gonna tape it on the side. That way I can flip the stencils back and forth. It's so brilliant, yeah. And then I'm grabbing another brush to use on the um, fossilized amber. And you can see that the paper moves around still, so just gotta hold it down here and there. And then I go back and forth and just kind of get in some places darker, make the hearts darker where I want to. Um, but yeah, it's turning out really, really nice. I'm enjoying using this and I actually want to use different colors the next time. Uh, I just went with green and yellow because the green and yellow uh, color of Newton's Nook designs kind of caught my attention. So I'm using water and my microfiber to just splash on some water and then dab it off with the microfiber cloth and then I am just dabbing off the dryness but now I'm cleaning off my table and using some of that water to get added to my design so um, then I'm spraying down my table then I spray down the stencils and it's very easy to clean up wipes right off and I could have used the stencil for when I sprayed it on another card but um, I didn't think about that. So now it's time to stamp. I'm getting out my acrylic block. I'm gonna take off the cat stamp. And, and now for some stamping. I'm using RG Ink Black Taffy. 
And if you don't know by now, I'm creating four cards. The same thing because I just like to do um, at least four multiples. So I'm getting these cards done and I'm going to color them all individually. Clean off my stamp first and now to color with my Copic markers. Um, I believe this is Y35, so I'm just kind of going on the outline first and then I'm going to color in with a little bit lighter pen. Now this is the darker color that I'm using to color on the shadows of the heart and I'm sorry but the pen cover is in my finger and I can't see what color I used. Adding some little orange stripes to the cat, um, cat's face, Newton's face and his body. Uh, I didn't really know how this would turn out but it was okay. And then now the gray onto his body. Now is Newton a boy or girl? It's so cool that there is a cat stamp company. Oh, and then I stopped accidentally. I think I forgot to record the rest of my coloring. So apparently this is my layers that will go on my card and I'm just cutting them up and I have to cut down my background panel because um, the other panels are a little bit smaller so I have to go a little smaller on here so I'm just getting that all squared away now that I'm done with those panels I am scoring my card base so I'm scoring at four and one fourth and I'm just using this cutter that uh, I got from Stampin' Up! And then now I'm using my bone folder to make sure that those cards are folded correctly. Taking my ATG gun, adding tape to the back of the first panel, and then tape to the back of the decorated second panel, which is the bouquet hearts. I'm going to add some grass with my Copic pen marker. And I'm actually adding grass because I don't know if you've seen, but the tape that was on there kind of made a um, straightaway on the bottom. So that's my finished cat. You can see Newton's all colored up. I'm adding some foam tape to the back of the image. I've already cut him out and now I'm cutting some panels for the sentiment. It's about a half inch wide. I'm going to stamp the sentiment on there more to the towards the middle so that I can cut them into banners. Now I end up just showing you finished card one finished card that way I'm not doing all four towards the end I figured that out. I'm using my Micron pen 0 0.05 to just add line and, and dots going around my sentiment. And then I'm going to take the sentiment and stick it right on the left hand upper area and it says will you be my meow in time. This is my finished card. It was so much fun to create. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye now.